Every Thursday, we go to couples therapy. We've been on off since high school, but this time it's been a solid year. That's gotta mean it's getting serious. Every morning, she whispers in my ear to stay in bed another day, presses the palm of her hand to my chest as if she's afraid I'm gonna escape the covers. After I scrape myself out of bed, I still smell like her. Like, midnight panic attacks, like first name bases with the Beats pharmacist, like no, I'm not hungry, I already had a Rice Krispies treat today. How is your appetite? Well, I haven't really been eating, but she likes me skinny. It makes it easier for her to be the big spoon. It's like I disappear into her, like her body swallows mine. Have you seen your friends recently? Not in a while. My friends are the third wheel if we're out together. That's what happens when you've been with somebody for so long. How's it going with the Zoloft? She got jealous? But Zolov treats me well, takes me to breakfast in the morning, feeds me French toast. And she got mad. Something about me cheating on her? Well, either way, she was mad enough to take out the scissors, so I threatened to use Zoloft even more. All of them. All at once. I almost did. Is that the night your friend took you to the hospital? Yeah, but it was only one time. And it doesn't matter anyway, because once I got there, the nurse had no visitors, took Zoloft away from me, so we got to spend some quality time as a couple. Again. He thinks I'm only with her because my father called my mother a whore, because sometimes I wish I was straighter, because I have never had a serious love life. But what he doesn't understand is that this is the most serious relationship I've ever had. The time's up. See you next week. She mutters, fine, under our breath and slams the door on our way out. She was angrier than usual. Our therapist says there's been improvements over the last few weeks and that we'll probably always be together, but I'll be more independent soon. I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about it in the mornings I wake up hungry. Mornings when my body remembers how to leave a mattress on its own. Feel arms shrink from around my waist for a few hours so I can finish a poem, watch Parks and Rec, make a bed, all without crawling back in. Even when she says I'd be a gutted house, scraped clean, creaking and caving in without her, sometimes I think she's right. The last week I stepped onto the scale and I gained three pounds. It's only three pounds, but it's all me. Every Thursday, I go to couples therapy. Every Thursday, I go to couples therapy with my depression.